thanks Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. This is the best brisket I ever had in my life. It is something that I will never forget. I'm telling you right now, it is brisket heaven. Everything you ever wanted from a brisket, this one has it. And that's because it is a Japanese Wagyu A5 brisket. However, it is almost impossible to get. As soon as I finished my last cook, I immediately order another one. And that has been a while and my meat dealer still does not have available. But I still crave this wonderful flavor. With that said, I had an insane idea. You see, when I got that Japanese Wagyu A5 brisket, it looked like this. Yes, it is bigger than my cutting board. It's even larger than my nephew. So like every brisket, after opening it up, the first thing you gotta do is to trim it. And I've never trimmed so much fat in a brisket like this one. It was insane. And as you can see, once I was done with the trimming, this was what I was left with. Remember what I started with? Yeah, that's a lot of trimming because take a look at this. Three full trays of Japanese Wagyu A5 brisket fat. And as you might already have guessed it, I turned this into beef tallow. Or even a better name, the butter of the gods. This is so delicious that it is impossible for me to describe. It's so crazy good that instead of using butter, I started using this on bread. And my friends, it is one of the best things you can put on bread, I'm telling you. So my thought was, I need that Japanese Wagyu A5 brisket flavor one more time and I am not gonna wait for my meat dealer to have one available because once you taste this there's no going back so I'm gonna go ahead and do the unthinkable and inject a cheap brisket to see if I can make it amazing talking about that this is the one I chose for today's cook it is a choice grade brisket aka the cheapest one you can buy and as you can see she is not that pretty not only does it need a good trimming you can see a little bit of oxidation on the fat and it even has a cut right here in the middle Oh man, this one is in bad shape. If that Wagyu fat makes this brisket amazing, we are into something. So I went ahead and started all of the trimming. As always, the best practice is to have a good sharp knife. I went to town like there's no tomorrow, removing all of the fat from the point and trying to leave a quarter inch of fat in the flat. If you are unfamiliar with these terms, the flat is the leanest part and the point is the complete opposite. And as you can see, this is how I normally trim all of my briskets. Now it's still missing something and we're talking about the fat. Now I know what you're thinking. Google, I don't have a Japanese Wagyu A5 fat available. You can also use this, Wagyu beef tallow. And believe it or not, it is much cheaper than you think and you can always get it online. So to be fair to you guys, I'm going to be using a 50-50 mix. A little bit of the render fat from the Japanese Wagyu a5 brisket and some of this. To inject it, I'm gonna be using the syringe. It makes the job a lot easier and no big deal. I just removed the cap from the top and inserted all of the fat in there. Now the big question is always how much to use. I have no idea, but what I can tell you is how much I use and it was over a pound. The next thing to do is to go ahead and move on to the fun part. And as you start injecting, the meat will lift up. Another thing I notice is that as I'm injecting it, it comes out from different angles of the brisket. That is a great thing because it's completely filling the whole thing with it. When I first started this experiment, I did not have a lot of hopes. But now my excitement level is through the roof. And I cannot wait to find out how this is gonna taste. As you can see, once I was done, this is what it looks like. Yes, a complete mess. I injected every single inch of this brisket. And man, this better be real good. But now that we got it fully injected, the next thing to do is to go ahead and season it. So the beef tallow that was left on top, I just rub it around so that I can get a nice binder. As always, I try to keep it super simple with the seasoning. And that's because I want to taste the beef. So I went with a little bit of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And as always, I made sure to season it well. This is a big chunk of meat and it needs to be seasoned properly. And if this brisket is anything like the Japanese Wagyu A51, man, we are in for a treat. And as you saw it, we have quite a bit of fat in there. So I have the perfect side dish to cut out a little bit of the fat. And we are talking about this country style coleslaw. I believe it's gonna be perfect to go along with that brisket. And to make it, it's super simple and here's how. I first started by chopping up some cabbage. My goal was to chop it as thin as possible but at the same time, keep some crunch. That takes no time at all and it actually makes this meal a little bit healthier. That's always a plus on my book. Then I move right into the sauce. For that, I threw in a little bit of mayo, followed by 
dry apple cider vinegar, a little bit of white sugar, and finished it off with black pepper. Now there's left to do is to mix it well because your dressing is done. As you can see, the dressing turned out perfect. So I went ahead, put it on the coleslaw and mixed everything together, plated it up on a nice dish, added a little bit of parsley for looks and my coleslaw was done. The sweetness and acidity from this coleslaw will be perfect to break up the fattiness of that brisket. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook it and here's how it's gonna go down. I'm first gonna be throwing it in my smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit until I have a beautiful bark. Once that's done, I'll be preparing my butcher's paper with also a lot of Wagyu fat. Yes, for this cook, the more fat, the better. Then I'll be wrapping the whole thing with it. To finish it off, I'm gonna be using something that it's called the bolt method. And that is to use aluminum foil underneath the butcher's paper. The cook will only be over when it's extremely soft and rested for one hour. But now that you know how everything is gonna go down, I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook this beautiful brisket. So let's do it. a group of people that loves to eat? Maybe Vikings? You can get to experience all about Vikings as they just landed in the new updates of Rise of Kingdom, who are sponsors of today's video. Use the link below to join and fight with me on your iOS or Android device. In Rise of Kingdoms, you can pick one from the 12 real world historic civilizations. Enjoy the unique architectural styles of those 12 civilizations, just like traveling the world and tasting the local cuisines. Use one of their famous military champions and expand your empire on a huge world map. Rise of Kingdom is a mobile strategy game that has been online for nearly three years and it is extremely popular worldwide. They have over 60 million players and they still maintain a high user rating in both Google Play and App Store. The map is over 1 million square kilometers. That's more than 55,000 square miles. Just look how big it is. That's crazy. The battle scenes of Rise of Kingdoms are realistic and hardy, and there are even superb commanders who can release skills to turn the tide of the battle. And the best part, recently they announced that the Viking civilization is coming. Ragnar Ludbrook, a legendary Viking hero, and Bjorn Ironside are leading the Vikings from the Lower River to conquer the world. Click on the link in the description to download the game now, and you're gonna get a civilization change coupon worth $50 and in-game props by using the code ROKVIKINGS. Participate in the contest in the second link for your chance to win an iPhone 12 Pro Max, an iPhone 12 Pro, or an iPhone 12, and tons of resources. Thank you once again, Rise of Kingdom, for sponsoring this video. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful brisket, Mama. Yeah, well, that's a good looking brisket, but it looked like <laughs> some parts went missing. What do you mean? It looked like it was a huge brisket. But well, we got a lot of people in the house, Mama. Uh, man, those people are hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. But to be 100% fair, all right, here's the deal, everybody. I haven't tried it, and you haven't tried it. Nope. Some other family members tried it. I'm not going to tell you what their face were like, but they look they look very interesting. <laughs> Obviously, we got the fatty part. We got the lean part. Which one would you like to try first? Let's start with your favorite part. The fatty. That's right. That's right, Mama Zing. Let's go with this one right here because nothing know, is right better now, than the fatty. Right. Oh my God, look at that. I know, it's a little bit extra juicy, everybody. I will apologize. We are in the middle of a hurricane coming right now. So you guys could probably hear a lot of wind. So yeah, it's a little crazy. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> nothing I can do, Mother Nature is Mother Nature. No, no. Hey, it feels nice outside. That's all I can say. I know, it feels not hot and sticky today. Okay, I want to know what do you think about this brisket and most importantly what you think yeah all right and to cut out the acidity we got a little coleslaw here mm. okay uh, enough talking good. everybody you ready for this cheers yes. everybody wow wow man mm. little different flavor over here yes i want do, do you like it do you I like, like it? it i like <laughs> it i like it a lot oh man wow. that's delicious what do you think mama Zing? What kind of, um, what do you think about this brisket? I I'm, wanna know. I'm thinking that this is a Wagyu brisket, man. <laughs> 
for the amount of fat that this thing is leaking <laughs> and the flavor. Man. It tastes amazing. Mm. If you are wondering how does it taste smoke. like? So smoky. I know, right? Wow. But it's a nice clean smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a dirty smoke like a heavy smoke on your face, you know what I mean? No, no, it's just a little hint on a top of it. A little subtle, even though the smoke ring is humongous, it's a nice subtle Very smoke. Subtle, but mm. it's nice. Tastes like a wagyu brisket to you? It tastes like a wagyu brisket to me. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. It's a choice brisket, my mouth. Shut up. Yes. Why are you lying to me? No way that this is choice. Ah, look at that. Look, at, look at the amount of juice on this table. I, I'm telling you, I am as surprised as you. Everybody, this works like a charm. My mouth, it is a choice brisket, mm. a very lean choice brisket. All of this amount of fat was 100% injected with Wagyu fat. So yes, I did inject it quite a bit. If you are wondering to be specifically, it was a little bit more than a pound and a half <laughs> of fat. <laughs> so I did not play around everybody. It was quite a bit. The fatty wow. part is absolutely delicious. Melts in your mouth. Wonderful flavor, like you said. I'm mm. ready for the lean. Hold on though. Mm. You wanna try the coast? You know what? That's uh, not a bad idea. Like, the, that's uh how do you call that? Cleanse my palate. Correct. Let's cleanse your palate, Mama, with a wonderful coleslaw. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mmm. So nice. So refreshing. Delicious. Oh a God. hint of vinegary. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Try out this coleslaw. You will not regret it. Okay, enough. I'm ready to try the brisket, Mama. The lean brisket. Hold on. Mama's enjoyed that coleslaw. <laughs> I love the crunchiness. It smells phenomenal, everybody. Ooh, Not God. like a regular brisket. You I, I didn't even smell the other one. I smelled in my mouth just started like waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Oh, man. Mm. The flat is just as good as the point, man. Mm. You, you, you. You are not allowed to do brisket anywhere. Any other way except for this. <laughs> I think that's one of those meats I can eat every single day. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brisket is amazing, everybody. Mm. First yeah. of all, it's affordable, and most importantly, you don't have to buy a prime brisket anymore. Now you can just buy a choice and make it a wagyu brisket, like Mama oh. said. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Mama. I just got a little bit of the smoked fat. Mm. Oh, man. The smoked fat is crazy. That's why I like wow. to leave a quarter inch of fat right there. I hope you guys can see it through the camera. The bark is perfect. It's golden brown, not too dark, that mm. bark. Oh. I'm just gonna suck on the smoke on the fat. <laughs> it's that good. Well, apparently, these are the results, oh. everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future mm -hmm. videos. Remember, if you are interested Whoa. in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I forgot that we were doing a video for a second. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to curse something good here. Mau Mau, no cursing allowed. Did you enjoy this one? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.